your grocery bills are getting out of control. Now, one of the reasons is our increased reliance on prepackaged and prepared food. So today, we are talking about the cost of convenience. We've got Marilyn Smith here, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. All right, good. This is a good topic because a lot of us don't have time and so we're saying okay I want the vegetables and I want the zucchini but why not just get the spiralized package already so I'm not home with the spiralizer doing all the work however we might be spending a lot of money maybe a lot more than we think for right. convenience. You know what, and I think when you go to the grocery store, you automatically, you know, you're in a panic, you didn't bring your grocery list, and yeah. so you're making decisions that might not be to your best advantage, but the, pri the cost for convenience can actually work to your favor, because you have Good. to consider how healthy you're, you're choosing the foods are. If this yep. is going to make you eat more vegetables, then you know what, I think that's not such a bad idea. Okay. I also think that you also have to consider what your time is worth and like how pressed for time you are. You know, mm -hmm. a neat stat came out the other day that uh, we only spend 30 minutes a day in our kitchens cooking, but we spend 137 minutes on our social media devices. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm saying, let's get back into the kitchen. I'm gonna make it easier for you, and I'm also gonna show you the difference between what a little bit of convenience and uh, cooking from scratch will cost you. Oh, that okay? is good, okay. I'm well, excited. I like it. I think your health is worth it sometimes, I, right? Oh, it, I, I totally think so. And the, you know, the thing is that this was, the, this was the most exciting homework assignment I've ever had. <laughs> Yes. And, and but it was also like the, the most difficult. So I'm so excited like, yes. to share all this, okay? With your results. The results, yes, okay. yes. I, like, I even have little cards, like you know when you oh, do I presentations at school and you go, and then, okay, <laughs> there's no way I was gonna remember this. Okay, so beets being spiralized and zucchini being spiralized are huge right now. Yes. Okay, and so when you, uh, when you actually buy spiralized beets, you are actually, uh, it's 75% savings if you do it, your, sorry, 63% savings if you do, I'm pointing at the wrong one. That's all right. All right I'm pointing at the over. right one Turn around you. three times. Okay, here we go. The <laughs> no beets. Even saw it. Okay, good. So 75% savings that you, if you do it yourself. Okay, so 75% savings. If I did that myself. If you, if you spiralize yourself. And okay. if you actually did the zucchini, which is really not a very hard thing to do. I know, I mean, but it takes time. Do, yeah, but you know, this is how you get your kids in the kitchen. I mean, this yeah. is a fun toy. Yeah, it's. I, I think this is hilariously fun. Although you know, I'm a little weird. So anyway, <laughs> but there. So if you do that yourself, then yeah. you are going to be saving seventy-five. Uh, sorry, sixty-three percent. Okay, sixty-three percent and here, seventy-five percent if here. you do it yourself. That's a big saving. It's a big saving. Actually, that's pretty significant. I think it is too. Now you're gonna, you know, get purple hands, but you know that's always yeah. fun too. All right. Okay. Now kale. Everybody's talking about kale. All that's right. So you deal. can buy a big bunch of kale, mm -hmm. or you can get baby kale. Now the thing with baby kale is that you can actually eat the stalk and mm. so because it's more tender mm -hmm. but you'd have to take the stalk off for the for the uh, for the kale so if okay. I bought uh, the packaged kale and then the, this one so if I did it myself yeah 75 77 percent savings over the package oh so you just get this big thing and make and your own baby shop kale. Your, well no you just to actually take it right off the stalk like okay. the, the way that I do all the time see that, that doesn't bother work. me as much as this bothers me this is more work it is you're right so yeah. what is your time worth I what buy is the prepackaged well then there you go and I think <laughs> but you know what I think that's a really good point I eat it all the time there right? you go so if you're eating it all the time and you're going that's to eat pasta. it and you know that's the other really thing if you're living alone yes. you know there's a lot of food waste I mean we, we yes. throw out 40% of our food right. so if this is going to help you reduce your food waste then that is an also that's also a good thing to think about you got to make a judgment call you do right? totally okay okay cauliflower. cauliflower okay so the big thing you is cauliflower rice I love oh <laughs> it stinks it's stinky okay yeah. good so um, to do your own cauliflower rice which is like kind of like this okay there's your yeah. cauliflower rice everybody's doing it I, I don't I honestly don't quite get it because I just rather <laughs> roast it yeah. but if you throw it into your food processor or you got your own you got a grater yeah. I mean basically at the end of the day so you have got it's done that's that's easy I got a look but you know that's that yeah but if I did it myself I'm gonna be saving 81 percent that's a lot so this is 81 percent more expensive than doing it myself okay and the thing is when you 81%. buy the cauliflower rice which I've made the mistake of buying a couple of times because I actually don't really like it yeah I don't know um, but if <laughs> <laughs> 
was trying to make everybody like, <laughs> well, if no. I did, I could save money. People anyway, like it. People I like know. it. But when you buy it, you use the whole package in one go. Yes, you do. Um, and then I, I think people like it because it's more palatable than having like a big chunk of cauliflower. Yeah. But I yeah, would actually it's roast. It's gone in one go. You're so. right. And so you're saving money, but I but slice these up and roast it. So, you know, yeah. I mean, if you're a cook, that's another thing. I kind okay. of agree with you Here's there. a huge one. Frozen versus fresh, okay? Yeah. So frozen green beans are right now are always going to be cheaper than because they're not in season everywhere. Right. So if you buy loose, now loose is the ones that have the, like the little ends on that you have to clean off. Yeah. And then the ones that you can buy in a package that have the little ends cut off and then there's frozen. Okay, so let's, this is very confusing. I'm okay. such not a math person. I actually well, had my, neither, my producers, my producer had to do this for me. I got all the numbers and then I was like, what do I do? I have them all. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so <laughs> It's a 22% savings over frozen if you buy just loose. So okay. loose right now would be the cheapest. Yeah. And then if you buy loose over the prepackaged ones, it's 103% savings. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. See, it's but a good thing I don't mind snipping those off myself. I don't mind. And it's like, it's kind of therapeutic. That's I know, not a I big think deal to me. It's not a big deal. No. But the thing with frozen is that when these are not in season, like in the middle of February, yes. then the frozen is going to be your best buy. Okay. Okay? All, All right. right. Okay. So and frozen, as you say, is always going to be cheaper. Flash frozen. Flash, flash frozen. frozen. Flash frozen uh, out of season. Okay. okay. So French fries. Okay. Pre-made mm. ones versus homemade ones, okay? okay. You, uh, these are 78% uh, more expensive than making them yourself. Really? Yeah, that's a big, that's a huge one. It is. And these are healthier, you know? I mean, that's the other thing. I always like cooking from scratch because I'm going to save money, but I'm also going to be making something healthier. Yes. I don't have a lot of bells and whistles, although this Brent, this particular one didn't have a lot of bells and whistles. You bake but those? The, I bake those myself, yeah. Instead they're not, of they're deep not, yeah, they're not French fries. I mean, yeah. come on, I go to hell in a handbag if I actually did that in a, in right. a, yeah, but, you know, but, yeah, no, yeah in you. my world, that that's a fry. That's a fry. <laughs> Listen, they're the, great. You bake them till they're crispy. And so they're lovely. Diff, and in right? my world, I'm tall. So anyway, okay. Uh, now this is a pre-made salad, and and you know, pre-made salads. If you're living alone, you don't have to buy all that stuff. Right. Uh, basically, if you made it yourself, you're going to save 27 per 27.5 percent. So you're not saving that much. Not that much. So if you're a single person buying that for dinner and lunch, I think it's a really good idea. Yeah. Or even if you're me, because I do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what? No. If you're it's in a okay. hurry, it's a good choice. Now hummus mm -hmm. really a wonderful thing to eat. I'm a big fan of uh, chickpeas. Mm -hmm. Make your own. Uh, you're going to have savings, 59% savings if you make your own over package. Okay. 59%. That's worth it. Okay. Okay. All also, right. always no salt. Here's my big one. Cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese, cheese. Parm whole, parm grated, and then the parmesan that you buy that's already been pre-grated and you can get it in like the where the spaghetti is. Yeah. Okay. So these in the refrigerated section, this isn't. Okay. Oh, so right. this is a really good one. Okay. So a 47% savings when you buy the container over the whole. Yeah. Yeah. And then this this is still going to be 18% um, uh, cheaper than, than already pre-graded. So if you grade mm. it yourself, you're saving money. Yeah. It's a better quality, too. This okay. block of cheese, once again, you're going to you save money. you don't need a lot of that, I might, I might You add. don't need very it's much. very yeah. flavorful. Very flavorful. Okay. And then, grated once again, cheese. if you grate your own, it's always going to be cheaper. Yeah, and it's cheaper by 30%. Uh, so okay, we'll, we'll get this to the eggs was, later. Uh, this was for, for me growing up, my entry into the kitchen. Was you, you were the cheese grater? I was the cheese grater. A and great so now skill. the kids are the cheese graters. So now I need them to do the zucchini. Yes. <laughs> That's the next That's, thing, and it's right? Fun. And it's I'm going to save money. Yes. 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 Okay, good. Okay, that good. was a very good lesson. Um, I like there's that. There's more to come. More Ooh. to come. Okay.